Hi everyone, welcome to another Tech Nerd tutorial. Today we're going to be installing PHP Bulletin Board or PHP BB on an Ubuntu 14.04 desktop server. PHP Bulletin Board is the number one free and open source bulletin board software that allows users to easily install the software. It has a very strong community forum, has a lot of external uh, items that can help, and there's links for what it is, how to get started, uh, ways to enhance and contribute to PHP BB. They also have a blog post of announcements, and then at the very bottom, some advertising uh, for hosting if you need it. To get started, we just need to go ahead and click the download at the top right. That's going to take us to a page where it will give us the latest download. There's two options. It does come in British English. So if you wanted additional languages, you would have to first download the language pack and then after that download the latest zip. We are just going to stick with downloading the latest zip to keep things simple. So here we're going to get a pop up. We want to make sure it opens with Archive Manager. We're going to go ahead and hit OK. Once it downloads, there's going to be a folder which we need to extract. So we go ahead and click that, and I'm going to suggest extract it to your home directory. This should be the default, but just in case, I'm going to click it, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit extract. This is so that our coding a little later is easier. You can generally hit the quit. I'm just going to go ahead and cl click show the files to see that this is the PHP BB3 folder that is in the home location. Now go ahead and close this go ahead and close the Archive Manager, and now we're ready to get started with installing PHP BB. For us to do that, we need to first open Terminal, and the first thing we need to install our LAMP web server. So for us to do that, the easiest way is for us to install task cell. So with that, we're just going to go ahead and type sudo apt-get install task cell, and then we're going to let Ubuntu install this particular application. This just makes it a little easier for us to install the rest of the web server. Go ahead and hit yes, it's going to go ahead and install. And then after that, we want to run task cell. So then we'll just type in sudo task cell, and then it'll go ahead and run. It's going to give us this menu. We're going to use the arrow keys to go down until we get to lamp server, spacebar to select it, and then enter. We'll make it run. It's going to now go ahead and install all its packages. It will pop up for uh, MySQL root user password. We're going to go ahead and type in that password. And then it's going to ask for us to confirm that password. So we'll type it in again. And then we're going to let the rest of the installation package go forward. So we're going to go ahead and go sudo move php bb3 to var www.html. You can also choose to rename this folder to make it a little easier to find, but for now we're just going to go ahead and move the folder, folder as is. Now we need to give the proper permissions to that of the web server, so we're going to type sudo chone, give permission to www-data, we want the hyphen r to make sure that it goes to all the files, and then the file location. After that we do want to also change the permission levels, so we're going to use sudo chmod. 775 to give the www data full permissions but for other users to just read once again that folder and then we're basically almost done the last thing that we need to do is we want to create our database in mysql so for that we want to type in mysql hyphen u uh, root and then hyphen p and that's going to make it so that we can log into MySQL as the root user. So here we go, MySQL hyphen u root hyphen p. It's going to enter the password that we created when we first installed LAMP, and then now we're in MySQL. To create the database, we just need to type in create database, and then the name of the database, we're going to give it PHP BB, and then a semicolon, and then enter. Query OK means everything is good. We can just type exit, and we're done. We're now done with all, everything we need to do in Terminal, so we can now go back to our web browser. In the web browser, we can now go to the address of our computer. So if you don't already have a public web address, go ahead and check out our video about creating a no IP dynamic DNS. And once you do that, come back here and you can finish the installation where we're going to get to this introduction page. 
we want to click on install and then it's going to say make sure you have all this stuff which we do we're going to go ahead and install it's going to be a lot of green yeses there is going to be a little bit of unavailable in the databases because you only need one so everything should be good we're going to click start install here it's going to ask for database configuration so the host for a database is localhost, which is the same computer. We just need to now put in the name, phpvb, the password root, or the username root, and then the password, what we did in our install. Now this isn't the most secure way, it's the simplest way. So if you do need to create your own uh, specific user for the database, just Google those instructions and then it'll be more secure than using the root of your, of your MySQL admin. Here we're typing in and creating the first user, the administrator, and then it's gonna ask for a password and an email address. We put all that stuff in, proceed to the next step. It's gonna say that all this passed, this is great. We'll proceed to the next step again. And then from here, it says that everything has been written, proceed to the next step. It's gonna ask for email settings. These are all optional if you wanna use something other than what's default on your computer. Your computer by default doesn't have set email, so if you need to use something third party, you would change it here. And then after that, you go ahead and click on proceed to next step. From there, we just need to click on proceed to next step again. It just confirms that our database tables were created. And then from there, after that, it's gonna say, congratulations, we're done. We can now go ahead and log in. Go ahead, click log in. We're now going to be in the administration control panel. It does ask if we wanna send statistical information to PHPBB to help them better their system. So you can choose whether or not you choose that send statistical information or not. The other thing to note is on the left sidebar, that's where you have all the options to manage your users, manage your groups, manage a lot of your settings, your server settings, your client settings. I also want to click on the general tab, which we're gonna see a warning appear. And this warning says that in order to increase our security, we want to go ahead and delete the install directory. So back in terminal, we're just gonna go ahead and type in sudo rm for remove, hyphen f, uh, hyphen rf to force it, and then var www.html phpbb3, and then install. So we go ahead and delete that one directory, and then we're basically good to go. So with that being done, then our installation is ready, and it is now good to get started. We're just gonna also restart our Apache server. And then from there, when we come back to this particular page, this warning should now disappear. Also just wanna to go to the board index to show you what it looks like now that it's all installed. And then we can start creating users, we can let them register and create our forms. That's how we go ahead and install PHPBB on an Ubuntu 14.04 server. Hi everyone, thanks again for watching this video. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And go ahead and leave a comment down below if you have any additional questions or comments. Furthermore, check out some of our related videos or find us in our social media. If you would like email notifications of whenever we release new video or written tutorials, you can go to our webpage technerdservices.com and sign up for our weekly newsletter. We will send to your inbox notifications of those new video and tutorials. Thanks again for watching and until next time, keep teching on.